Huh, good morning, everybody. Abolitionist Jay here with today's vlog. I'm going to try this again as I just recorded what I thought was an entire vlog, and apparently it stopped recording at about the 10 minute mark, and the rest of it is gone. So, take two. Today is June 6, 2018. It's uh, about 8 30 now. I started recording about half an hour ago the first time. Uh, let's see if I can remember everything I just said. So, as you can see, I am outside based on what I said during last night's video. Uh, I know it's only been about, gosh, not even 10 hours, I think, since I recorded that last video. But I did mention towards the end of that that I had gotten a number of requests to possibly show some of the areas that we're at. And also, if I could, show the inside of the vehicle and show what you guys what, what, what I got going on. So... Since it's early in the morning and it's beautiful out right now and there's not a lot of people around where we are, I figured I would uh, try it out and see if we could do this. Um, like I said, I did try to uh, record this before. I had a whole bunch of shots of the inside of the vehicle. Uh, I didn't even get a chance to see if they actually came out because um, the, it didn't record. <laughs> but we'll try it again in a minute. Anyway... Um, you know, uh, for those of you who watched last night's video, yes, uh, yesterday was a pretty dark day. I'm feeling a little better right now. Uh, unfortunately, I am missing the kids um, and even the wife, even though I'm, I'm, I'm a little miffed at her at the moment. But I'm missing all of them um, because uh, they're about to board their plane and head off to North Carolina. And, uh, yeah, I, I, since, since I'm up so early, I got to start missing them right away. And they haven't even left the state yet. So it's going to be a long week in that regard, but Murder Dog and I will do our best to survive. And, uh, you know, as, uh, as I mentioned yesterday, uh, I will just keep trying to repeat to myself every time I get down, uh, thanks to uh, the, the message from my buddy Merrick, uh, every time I start to feel down, I will, start to, I, will, I will just repeat to myself, get off the floor and stop being a pussy. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah, that's, uh, that's the mantra for this week. Anyway, uh, so last night after I finished recording, uh, I ended up going going back and, and seeing the wife for a bit and was uh, hoping to possibly stay with her stay with them one more time, but unfortunately she uh, my wife is prone to uh, pretty bad migraines and they kicked in and she was a mess and uh, you know we uh, we communication was not working very well so we you know murder dog and I had just ended up heading out and uh, going to find a place to stay so we ended up back at the marina where we had stayed the uh, couple of nights ago and we talked and I talked about how, how great it was here um oh uh, one thing uh, before I go any further uh, I mentioned this in the last video and I just realized as I'm watching myself recording this uh if you see me rocking like this I do apologize uh, I tend to do this when I stand I rock it's uh, just something I've always done so you're gonna have to put up with it um also you're gonna have to put up with any background noises you hear because well I'm outside um, so anyway, we came back to the marina, and uh, we ended up setting up here for the night. We didn't get down here until like 12, like 1 o'clock, I think. And uh, By the time I put all the, black up shade, the blackout shades up, uh, took Motor Dog out for one, uh, for one last quick walk and, uh, and set up a movie to watch for a little while, and then uh, got tired enough to finally pass out. It was probably like 2 a.m., and then I woke up at 6.30. Uh, once again, not because of the light coming in, because the... Uh, the, win the blackout shades did a pretty good job, although I did pass out without rolling the front windows up as far as I had planned to, so they were still kind of a little lower. So that light came in through there, but I don't think it was the light. It was actually, uh, you know, once again, my old man bladder had to pee, so woke me up. <laughs> um, but, yeah, we did, uh, you know, the otherwise the sleeping was good. Last night I actually slept in the front seat, uh, the driver's seat of the vehicle, um, because for those of you who don't know about the Honda Elements, they're actually designed for a lot of, uh, you know, off-roading stuff and uh, camping type stuff. They're kind of designed for this. So when you have the back seats in place, if you tilt the front seats, if you lower the front seats backward, you know, lower downward um, and take the headrest out, it actually lines up perfectly with the back seat to create like a, a, a full bedish, you know, f a full-ish type bed situation. And uh, I don't have the back seats in, obviously, because we need the room in the back. But, you know, just the seat itself uh, is, you know, decently long enough for me to kind of sleep on. And uh, so I tilted that. All, I, instead of shifting things to the driver's seat like I had been doing, I shifted everything to the back of the vehicle. So Murder Dog had plenty of space right behind my seats and uh, uh, right behind the uh, passenger seat. And I, dro I dropped the seat all the way back, took the headrest out, put the pillow where the headrest goes and uh, slept pretty comfortably there. So I may actually do that again. 
Uh, I have talked about uh, trying to do some redesigns to the car, possibly get some shelving in here, maybe getting a bed situation. Until we get that figured out, uh, I had been sleeping in the back on the floor, but you know the seat's pretty comfortable, so maybe we'll do that from now on. We'll see. But so anyway, the uh, yeah, so it was a uh, you know it was it was a good good night, not all asleep, but you know woke up and it was beautiful out and uh hopefully it stays we'll see because the weather has been absolutely crazy around here there's been a number of days where i've woken up and it's been gorgeous like this and it's been that way for like till like 10 11 o'clock and then all of a sudden it just gets cloudy as hell and uh gets pretty nasty out so and you know and, and has rained rained a bunch so we'll see but that is why one of the reasons i'm recording right now even though i recorded you know less than 10 hours ago because well i want to do uh, make sure i got this while the weather was nice and, uh, you know, like I said, I also got those requests to show the vehicle and whatnot. So I am trying to do that. Now, I'm going to attempt to try to, to show you guys some of the stuff again. Uh, hopefully you can actually see it because, uh, I mean, it's nice out here, but it's a little dark on the interior of the vehicle because of the uh, tinted windows. But I will do my best. Hopefully you guys can see some of this. I'll obviously check the video afterwards and see. But, you know, I'll do my best if this doesn't work. We'll do it from inside the vehicle um, next time around, and uh, I'll keep doing this until you guys can see the setup because enough people have asked me to see what I got going on in here. So uh, I'm going to put the mic down for a second, and then uh, I'm going to have to move the laptop around because, as I've described, I'm working with a laptop with the integrated webcam, so I have to. You know, it's going to be a little clunky. I'm going to have to move the laptop around to show you guys, uh, but I did want to uh, try to honor the requests I had and uh, show you guys what we got going on. And now keep in mind, this is, is still a work in progress. I still, uh, I still, I'm still carrying some things that I'm probably not going to need or going to decide be go going to decide to get rid of fairly shortly. Um, but I, you know, as we as I've talked about, this is I'm literally doing this on the fly, and because of everything that happened at the last minute with the closing of the house, I had even less time to prep. So I'm literally working this out as we go. Um, but uh, here we go. I'm going to try to do this. Hopefully the recording doesn't stop this time. So what we have here, this is the interior of the element right now. Uh, as you, I think you could definitely see uh, the pet barrier here in the back. This I had mentioned, we, we had been trying to sell this a month uh, with a bunch of other things right before we left the house to try to save room. And once this didn't sell, it was actually going to, it was headed to the dump because we didn't think we had any use for it. And then I realized, Hey, maybe I can make use of it uh, in the car. And even though it cuts off a couple of inches in the back there, it's become very handy because number one, it allows me to leave the window on the tailgate open and get extra airflow in for murder dog and this way she can't jump out now at almost 11 years old she's not really a threat to do so but you know there's been occasions where she's got spooked and she can still move pretty quickly or she gets really interested in something sees a rabbit or something and you know i don't want to take that chance so having this up there allows me to leave the window open and get, you know, like i said get the airflow and uh, let her look out the window and stuff and uh, I, I know she's secure um, it, this thing, this pet barrier also happens to du double as a, uh, sh a towel rack for me. Um, it works perfectly if I, if I, if I fit the towels and just uh, kind of wrap them back and forth through the bars and then leave the window open as we drive, it, uh, it airs everything out and dries my towels in pretty short order. So that's also very handy. As you can see, I also have my solar shower hanging from this, um, which I've only used that once. And it was a lunar shower that night, as I've talked about. We also have the fan. Uh, I'm going to put the mic down for a second. the fan with the LED light that our friend Lori gave us, um, which, uh, as I've talked about, the light is awesome. The fan is, well, it's as good as it's going to get for a battery-powered fan, which is still better than nothing. Um, but the light is great, so we love that. Um, I do have, um, I don't know if you can see this black shape on the, uh, on, the, on the side over here. That is a one of those pet ramps for dogs to walk up and down. Uh, I carried that with me because, uh, yeah, I'm going to turn this back around now. And hey, the recording kept going that time. Good job. <laughs> uh, I carried that with me. I've had this. I, I used to carry a couple of these for older dogs that I when I was you know when I was doing the pet sitting thing, and also we used it for my wife's dog uh, Hooper before he passed away because uh, you know as he was getting older he was having leg issues and jumping in and out of the car was difficult for him, 
And with Murder Dog's legs and her getting a little older, she does have sometimes she has issues. Um, so I brought it just in case. Now, so far, she's been great, and hopping in and out of the suicide door is not that big of a jump, so she's she's been pretty good about it. Uh, originally, I thought she was going to be jumping in and out of the back a lot more, but since I put the pet barrier up, that kind of doesn't happen. So I may not need this ramp after all. I may end up ditching this once I get back from, uh, once, the, once the kids and the wife get back from North Carolina. Um, either uh, either ditch it with them temporarily or maybe end up selling it, you know, because like I said, I had two of them at one point. And I actually sold one of them with the uh, stuff I was selling before the house closed. And, uh, you know, I mean, we may need it down the road, so maybe I won't give it up, but we'll see. If, if she can hold on to it for me, maybe I'll give it to her. Um, I don't know if you guys were actually able to see, I, you know, there's a, another thing I have with me that, uh, let's see, I'll see, I'll try this again, see if we can get a better shot. Um, yeah, up along this side, I have a really big suitcase, which again, not the best thing for this, uh, this type of job, this type of, uh, project I'm, I'm involved in, but it was what I had at the house and, you know, I had to pack up obviously before the closing. So I didn't have the money yet, uh, to go purchasing things I wanted to purchase, um, but I'm probably going to invest in some larger duffel bags um, and switch everything over to the duffel bags because obviously you can mold those into position a lot easier than you can a big boxy suitcase. Um, so at some point, maybe over the next week or so, I will uh, I'll go pick up some of those or I'll order those. Um, you know, I'll probably have to go through Amazon since the uh, since the wife's not here to uh, get other packages for me. I'll probably just have to order through Amazon and then have it sent to a, lo a local locker and I'll pick it up there. Um, but yeah, so I'm, I'm probably going to get rid of the suitcase, which will save us a little, you know, save us some room. Uh, also back there, if you could see, it was the uh, electric cooler, the Knox cooler I've mentioned. Uh, I know a couple of people have said they didn't know if the, the cooler was a good idea or if it was necessary. So far, it hasn't been necessary, but like I said, I got a good deal on it, and I figured I would pick it up because a couple of people had told me they use it. My buddy Kyle Turnblazer, uh, who does the Liberty Forge podcast, who is 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 one cool dude and does all of his podcasts out of his big rig. He had actually suggested it to me because he uses it all the time. Now, granted, he's driving the big rig, so he's driving a lot more distances, so he has a lot more reason for the vehicle to be on. Uh, so it's a lot easier to, to keep the thing, you know, to keep the, the cooler running without having to just start the car just to run the cooler. Um, but like I said, I figured I would test it out and it's coming pretty handy and I'm still going to do a fuller, you know, a, a more in-depth review on it at some point, I think. But for now, it, it keeps things pretty cold once, uh, you know, if I let, if we're driving around or I'm doing stuff and I need to have the car running anyway, because as I've also mentioned, the battery on the laptop is going, so it has to stay plugged in. So I will let the car run for a little bit in order to do certain things like record this. So I'll, you know, obviously the, the cooler's plugged in at the same time. So I let it get, I let it get cool in there and then it manages to stay cool for, uh, you know, four to six hours at least after that, uh, without being plugged in. So I haven't had to run it nonstop and it's still kept the stuff I do have in there, which for the most part is mostly drinks right now. Um, because, you know, as I've, I've shown and talked about, I'm obsessed with those house, house, New York, uh, coffee seltzers. Um, and you know, I'll drink those warm, but they're, they're a little better cold. Um, so yeah, so that's back there too. And the rest of it is just a pile of mess, you know, stacked up all over the place. You know, like I said, I, I try to keep this center section open for murder dog at all times. And then what I had been doing at night is moving the suitcase, the pet ramp, um, and most of the stuff from the sides up into the up into the driver's seat, so that Murder Dog and I had it was pretty much just the cooler in the back with us, and uh, and then uh, and and then we had plenty of room for both of us to sleep. But the front seat does seem to be pretty comfortable, so I may be making more use of that. And then, like I said, instead of shifting things to the front seat, then I just took everything from the sides and shifted it all the way to the back, so Murder Dog had all the room behind the uh, the passenger seat, even after I dropped the driver's seat all the way down. So, yeah, uh, that's, uh, like I said, I, I hope those shots came out. Uh, I hope you were able to see some of that. Uh, I will do my best to uh, take better ones, if not, because, like I said, a, a lot of people have asked me about this, and uh, I want to try to show you guys what's going on. But please, as I said, keep in mind, this is a work in progress. Um, come next week, things may look a little different, because uh, we're testing things out. Uh, since this is still recording, I'm going to try one more time to show the uh, some of the other stuff we got going on, because I did it in the last video, and it just, well, it disappeared on me. Um, but here, we're going to walk around the side of the car, 
and you see up here, oh, cord's getting cut, caught. That's not going to help. So we have our big old car carrier that I've talked about. Right behind that, there is a the green and white thing you see. That is actually a hammock that I have. Somebody gave me years ago, and it was sitting in the garage. Uh, I figured, you know what? I'll throw it up there, and maybe we'll uh, maybe we'll make use of it. Uh, normally, when we travel for camping trips, that's where our uh, what should I call it? Our folding canopy goes. Uh, we don't have one at the moment because the last one broke, and we have to purchase a new one before Michigan this year. So I figured, since that's a spot I usually use anyway, I could throw the hammock up there, and maybe if it's a nice day, we'll uh, you know set the hammock up, and I'll take a nap in a park or something. Um, also hanging off the car carrier, that is my solar charger I have discussed. Um, unfortunately, I have not got to use it yet because, well, the weather, as I have described, has been wacky around here. And when I set it up in the morning and try to get it start to charging, then all of a sudden it gets cloudy and rainy, and then, well, no more charge. So since I was up really early today, I, have it, I already have it set up and hanging off the car carrier. Hopefully there will be enough sun to fully charge this thing, and then we can actually test it out tonight. Um, and then here in the front of the vehicle, I just have a mess have some extra stuff stacked up here in the front, you know, my uh, my knapsack with mo some of my most important stuff, like my toiletries and whatnot, um, all, all murder dogs medications and stuff, and uh, my laptop bag. And then there's some stuff jammed underneath the, uh, uh, underneath the dashboard uh, in front of the uh, passenger seat, because the passenger seat is moved all the way up, so we have as much room as we possibly can in the back. And, well, since I have to put stuff in the front seat anyway, nobody's going to be riding with me. Oh, I do apologize for that buzzing sound. I, I hope that didn't come through too loudly. Um, interference there as I was trying to re reposition. So that is our setup for the time being. As I keep saying, it's a work in progress. Things will probably continue to evolve. I am learning as I'm going. And uh, we're, we're trying to make the best of it and just figuring out what works for us and what doesn't. So, you know, that's, uh, that's about it. We... Uh, we're, we're, let's see, it is now, eh, it's like 10 to 9, we have, uh, you know, a whole day ahead of us, obviously, like I said, I'm already missing my kids, and, you know, even I'm an old, little miffed at her, missing the wife, um, so it's going to be, it's going to be a long week in that regard, but Murder Dog and I do have some stuff to take care of, uh, hopefully I can enlist the help of some local friends, you know, my old friends that have come out of the woodwork to uh, help support me right now, um, hopefully I can get a hold of some of them and maybe, uh, work out the shower situation. Cause that's, that's one of the things with the wife leaving. That's kind of, kind of worrying me a little bit. Um, you know, uh, as I've talked about, I, I used the solar shower the one night, but I didn't set it up ahead of time. So it was cold and blah, 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 blah. blah. And finding places to set it up has also been difficult. I was going to go ahead and get that planet fitness membership and I'm still probably going to do that, but you know, I need somebody to watch murder dog while I go in and shower so maybe I can get one of my friends to uh, watch her at night, and I'll just have to take showers at night over there because, well, you know, the one thing I, I, I'm, I'm super appreciative of the friends who have come out of the woodwork to, uh, you know, to check in with me and offer their assistance. But most of them, well, they have real jobs, <laughs> so they're busy during the day, um, which is also going to make it difficult for me to do some of the other stuff we need to do because a lot of the things like the DMV stuff, the court, like all the, like all the BS I have to deal with, it's all, all has to take place during business hours. So if I have to ditch Cameron during that time, it's going to be a little difficult. Um, worst case scenario, if it's hot and uh, I have to go somewhere where she's not allowed in. I do have a, a system I used to use when I did my pet sitting stuff. I know it's not the most secure, but it does keep her cool. Uh, if I bring, if I, I have my spare key to my car and I used to do this all the time on hot days when I had dogs, like if I had a visit that I had to go do, if I had to go see some cats and I had dogs with me and I obviously couldn't bring the dogs in, um, or I was seeing a dog that, uh, didn't get along with other dogs or whatever it was. And they, the other dogs that were with me had to stay in the car. I would just leave the car running with the air conditioning on and then use the second key to manually lock the doors. Uh, again, not the safest thing. Um, you know, there's, plenty of there's stories from all over the country where stupid laws are being put up where, where you can get a you know you can get a ticket or i well, saw one guy got arrested um for leaving his car running in a 7-eleven parking lot i know uh you know i know the cops can be assholes about that shit but it's ridiculous there's you know 
it's it, you're the one taking the risk with your vehicle. You're not hurting anybody by doing that, you know, other than I guess the ozone. But you know, the ozone is not a fucking victim. You can't uh, you can't punish people for that. So that will be the worst case scenario. I'll, I'll find a place to park where I can do that. Um, but we'll figure it out. And uh, you know, yeah. Other than that, we're gonna try to enjoy our day. And uh, as I also mentioned last night, we're probably going to head up, uh, head upstate to uh, visit a friend who's offered uh, his his place. Well, he has a huge tract of land, uh, <laughs> huge tracts of land, which I, I threw in the show notes last night. And again, anybody who gets that reference, bonus points for you. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, he's he's offered that up for us to come hang out there and just you know camp out on his property and obviously go hang out with him a bit too. So I think we're probably going to do that after after I finish work on Sunday. And if things continue as they have been, I'll be up really early in the morning and I can go I could take care of that work as early as like 7 a.m. So if we get o- if we get over there and take care of that work by 7 a.m., we're done we'll, you know before 8, we'll head up right then and we'll head up state. And uh, I think it's I think he's about two, two and a half hours away. I think that's right. Um, you know. Not a long trip by any standards for Murder Dog and I, so, you know, that'll be fine. And we'll just head up there and hang out for a few days and then uh, wait for the wife and the kids to return. Because uh, once the work thing is done, got nothing else going on, like, scheduled until uh, until court at the uh, j- uh, on July 9th. Or actually, sorry, that's not true. We do have something really important scheduled, and this is actually something uh, I'm just reminded that I threw this in at the end of the last video, which didn't record all the way through. Thank you, technology. Thanks, Obama. Or, or Trump. I'm supposed to thank Trump now, right? Thanks, Trump. <laughs> um, yeah, the other thing we do have scheduled is, as I, I alluded to before, the Midwest Peace and Liberty Fest in Delton, Michigan, uh, June 21st through June 25th at the Circle Pine Center. It is going to be a fantastic time. I so cannot wait to do this. I mean, I'm missing my kids and, and the wife already, um, but I can't wait to get, I, I can't wait for all of us to be back together and then get and then jump ahead a couple of weeks until until the fest because that's going to be such a blast um, for anybody who is in that area or who will be close to the uh, the Michigan Southern Michigan area come the end of the month come on down if you don't already have tickets I think there might still be tickets available I haven't checked the website recently um, but even if there's no cabins or camping spots or whatever which I I don't know how they would do that. The place is huge, um, but you know, whatever. If there's if there's no tickets through the f- through the fest available, I'm sure there's day passes you can still get and come out and hang out with us. And you know, even if you don't want to stay there, if you just want to come and hang out with the, for the day and, and meet some of us, uh, that'd be really great because uh, it's going to be a really good time. I've been there two years in a row, and as I've mentioned a, a bunch of times, uh, I go out of my way to drive 11 and a half plus hours to go to that festival rather than going to the, rather than driving the five and a half to six hours it would take me to get to Pork Fest, which now occurs at the same time. And uh, I do that because the, Mi- the Midwest Peace and Liberty Fest is that much better. Uh, better group of people is, well, I mean, that's not true. I, I have friends who go to Pork Fest, and you know, I'd love to see them and stuff, but I like the vibe at the Midwest Peace and Liberty Fest a lot better. And, uh, you know, it's more of my, 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 my Ann fam is m- most of them are there, um, especially the fiends. And th- this year should be really great, uh, for any of you who are, fr- are fans of the fiend, uh, the freedom fiend show there, uh, I think almost all of the current hosts with the exception of Michael, uh, Michael W. Dean and possibly, I don't, I don't, I don't think Cal Maloney is coming either, unfortunately, but I think, uh, all, or he might, I don't know. Um, but I think all of the rest of the current fiends, myself, Randy England, Lucander Fiend, Diana Kyler, Shane Buell, um, are all going to be, oh, Johnny Vibes, Johnny Vibes is not going to be there, unfortunately, because he is out doing his, uh, celebratory road trip to, uh, uh, celebrate his, uh, beaten cancer, uh, which we're super psyched about, and, uh, we we would love to have you come up there, John, but I totally understand, man, you've totally earned this, brother, so you go have a blast. And uh, you enjoy yourself, and uh, hopefully we'll see you there next year. But yeah, but aside from that, the rest of us will be there. Plenty of ex fiends too: James Weeks, uh, Shane Radliff. Uh, I'm sure there's others I'm forgetting at the moment. Because well, if you if you know anything about the fiends, there's plenty of ex fiends. 
<laughs> we do have quite a history. But anyway, yeah, so we're all going to be there, and it's going to be a great time. We'll probably be doing some recordings from there and stuff too. And, uh, you know, uh, I'm just looking forward to getting there. And, and my kids are super psyched because they had such a – they haven't stopped talking about it since last year. And, uh, you know, they're obviously super st- stoked to be going to see their cousin right now. But as soon as they come back, they're, I know they're going to be asking, is it time to leave for Michigan yet? Is it time to leave for Michigan yet? Is it time to leave for Michigan yet? Um, and this, of course, will be the first year the wife goes uh, because the first year it was just murder dog and I because, uh, unfortunately, the girls uh, were scheduled to go with me and then one of them broke their foot a month beforehand and the other one woke up day of, you know, the day we were supposed to leave with a 102 fever. And, uh, yeah, neither of them could go. So it was just murder dog and I the first year. Last year, murder dog, I and the girls. We had a great time. This year, it'll be murder dog, I, the girls, and the wife. And, uh, you know, it'll be it'll be a different experience for the third year in a row, but hopefully it'll be just as great as the first two. I expect it will be, and uh, I can't wait. So, yeah, I have I've thrown the show. I've thrown the link up in the show notes before. I will do so for this one, too. So, again, uh, end of the month, June 21st through June 25th. If you happen to be anywhere near the Delton, Michigan area, come on down and, uh, you know, come hang out and have a good time. It'll be great. Um, aside from that, uh, as I also mentioned last night, uh, you know, again, thank you everybody for the continued comments and suggestions. I really do appreciate it. Um, you know, being able to connect with people like this, especially other van nomads, um, or van Vanuans or whatever you're calling yourself or however you're living this lifestyle. Um, it's been great to connect with you guys. I'm so appreciative that you're, you know, you've, you've kind of taken me in under your wing and are, are willing to give me these, uh, give me your suggestions and try to help me out. Um, it's awesome. It, it, it makes me feel great. You know, I, I love it. Thank you so much. Um, so for all you guys out there, again, uh, if any of you want to actually have a conversation with me and, uh, just, you know, shoot the shit, talk about some stuff, uh, share ideas or whatever, you know, I'm always up for having a phone conversation. You want to have a Skype conversation. If you want to record it, if you're willing to be, uh, if you're willing to be recorded and you want to do a show with me, I'm definitely looking for people to do that with, excuse me one second. Uh, yeah, sorry about, sorry about the coughing. I think, I don't think I mentioned it at the beginning of this video. I did it at the beginning of the last one that didn't record. Um, if my voice sounds a little off, I do apologize, uh, between all the, uh, stress and, uh, crying and, uh, just freaking out yesterday. Um, I smoked a hell of a lot more analog cigarettes than I prefer to. I tend to do that when I'm stressed. And, uh, yeah, it just, it, it shredded my voice by the time I woke up this morning, but I'm doing the best I can. And, uh, now that it is a uh, 9am, the dog park is starting to fill up. People are starting to pull in. So I'm starting to get some weird looks, which I don't really care about, but it may get a little noisy as a bunch of dogs are showing up. But anyway, so once again, if, uh, for all you guys, uh, for all you other van nomads out there, uh, all you guys that have been, uh, helping me out with your ideas and whatnot, if you are interested in, uh, having a combo or, you know, recording something because like i said i i definitely want to do some shows on this so i'd be super psyched to uh, get to talk to some of you we'll set something up and uh, i'll make sure i go get some good wi-fi and uh, we'll do a show or something or like i said even if you just want to have a private conversation i'm totally cool with that too i totally understand the uh, security thing and if you know some of you don't want to have your faces out there or your voices out there or your names out there i get it um you know i obviously am a, i've made myself a public figure over the years and i don't really hide from these things so I'm totally cool with sharing my stuff, but if you're not, that's okay. But yeah, if you want to talk, please hit me up and, uh, you know, cause if nothing else, it helps keep us, it helps keep murder dog and I going, makes us feel good that, uh, you know, we're making new friends and uh, we have people that are, are willing to share their knowledge with us. So that's about it. So thanks guys. I, uh, as always, thank you for watching. Thank you all for your continued support. Uh, it really means a lot to us. You know, it, uh, you know, like I said, this week's going to be tough without the kids and the wife. But uh, we're going to do our best to make do. And uh, we're going to still try to have some fun. So with that, I think we will wrap up. Uh, I'm looking around, and unfortunately, it's starting to get um, cloudy again somewhat. <sighs> Who knows what this day is going to bring. We'll see. But anyway. Oh, and one other thing, because, uh, again, now I'm confusing what I said in the first video that didn't record and this video. So if I, this is a repeat, I apologize. But one other question I did get. Um, was uh, one of one of the other van nomads, or actually Nissan at, n- Nissan nomads, <laughs> my, my new friend who's living out of the Nissan Terra, uh, had requested to uh, you know to get my location so he could kind of kind of figure out exactly where I'm, where I'm doing all this from. The marina that you had asked about, which is where we stayed, you know where we are right now, um, is at Wantaw Park, which is a uh, Nassau County park uh, on the south shore of Nassau County on Long Island. 
and uh, that's 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 where we that's where we were last night. That's where we were the other night. That's where uh, we're liking to hang out a lot because, as I mentioned in the other video when we talked about this, you know, it's got the dog park here. It's got bathrooms for us to use. It's got pretty much everything we need, and I can actually pick up decent Wi-Fi in, in certain spots in the park. So we like it here, and uh, we're probably going to make use of this place uh, a decent amount of the time because uh you know it's it's relatively convenient it's right next to a parkway so if we need to go anywhere up north or anything we just hop on the parkway and boom we're there so yeah i uh definitely like this place and uh so far so good so there you go that 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 that's the info uh, you're requesting and again uh i i said it last night there are a bunch of messages i know i have to address um on both youtube and steam it uh thank you guys for cont continuing to leave those and uh once i get set up a little later today in another wi-fi spot and hang out for a little while i will attempt to read all of those messages thoroughly and respond to them the best i can uh because i don't want to think you guys you just you know th think i'm leaving you hanging so all right folks on that note we will sign off and most likely check back in tomorrow morning well you know i'll check back in but most likely in the morning we'll see um but yeah stay tuned folks because especially now with my lifeline out of uh out of town there isn't exactly people to check on me constantly so if you don't see a video from me during the course of one day somebody reach out because something might have happened <laughs> Because I plan on recording these all day. I kind of feel like that the type of person who's who's saying, if I ever find, if you're if I'm ever found and they think it and they they claim it's a suicide, you know it's not true because I would never do that. Well, this that's kind of like it's kind of like that. Uh, I plan on doing videos every day. If you don't hear from me, come looking because something might have happened. <laughs> Uh, all right well once again thank you everybody uh appreciate all the love and support you guys are great and uh thanks for uh thanks for helping to make this experience the best it can be and uh we'll catch you next time peace y'all <laughs>